Generic greetings and welcome to Preview Plus Psychotically Insane Rogue AI Simulator 2015, otherwise known as Psycho Starship Rampage. We are in control of a rogue AI who is piloting a ship back to Earth and along the way we'll encounter different ships. However, because of my previous statement of it being rogue and insane and psychotic, we have to blow the hell out of all of the things we encounter. As we do that, we will get different upgrades and scrap and resources and materials and weapons and things like that and then that will allow us to equip our ship and get bit you know, bigger, stronger, faster, etc. It's a mix between a roguelike and a space shooter and it's something I've played just less than an hour of, so it's certainly a first impressions, not a review, I want to make that perfectly clear. So I'm going to jump in and show you a little bit of the game. So here we go, continue. I'm going to show you the campaign I've played uh, just over 25 minutes, as you can see there. I did have another two campaigns, but because I started that with a keyboard rather than a 360 control that I'm using now, for whatever reason, I couldn't play that one with this, so I had to start a new one. So we'll load that up. And then we'll say, yes, we do want to actually have uh, our control. It looks like you can have multiple players as well, but I can't really, you know, speak to that because I haven't actually done it. So here we go. Earth Starship, um, uh, ah, something, oh, it's loaded anyway, whatever. Right, so, this is our ship in the middle and we can fire. There you go. On the bottom, on the bottom left, it shows us our, uh, some modules that get damaged. They're all in green at the moment, which is good. We've got our shield, which you can currently see it's of, uh, surrounding our ship, but also we can see like a shield bar on the bottom left. On the bottom right is our energy, which is used to fire. There you go. When you run out of energy, you basically, uh, yeah, you fire really, really slow. There you go. And we've also got scrap. Scrap is used to build ships. Speaking of build ships, we can go to our uh, buildy ship area and we can actually add and remove modules. So you can see it says front on the top, so it says front that way. So that is the front of our ship. Uh, every module has a set of statistics. So for example, if I got the front weapon there, that is an optimized plasma cannon as shown on the top left. It shows us how much life it's got, uh, what its uh, mass is, things like that. It also shows its rotation. You can actually rotate the guns if you want to like that. So we can have the front weapon firing over there for no reason if we really wanted. But no, we don't. We want it over there. We can actually click on that. And we can actually copy it, we can sell it, we can rotate it around, or we can uh, rebind the keys or sell it or whatever. We can also change the equipment that is on there, or we can add the different sections. Speaking of adding a different section, I think we're going to do that. So I'm just going to go to sections, and then we can add all of these different sections that are shown here. So I'm going to put, say, I think one of these on. I'm going to move this around, and I'm going to put a section there. There you go. And I'm actually going to go down the bottom, and I'm going to do something very, very similar. I'm basically going to go to section and add that one, and I'm going to rotate it around I'm gonna put it there so why would I do that well what I'm gonna do is select them I'm gonna select them both and then I'm going to then add equipment on there the equipment I can add uh, you got weapons you got defense and you got misc so misc could be like for example uh, an energy storage battery thing which is you know allows us to uh, fire more guns we've got defense which we can say uh, repair bots or uh, persistent relentless repair bots which is pretty cool uh, we get a life regen. We've got more weapons as well, which is uh, recycling uh, peachy plasma cannon mark 2. Uh, we can actually have like torpedoes and things like that as well as you progress through the game. You'll get uh, more things. I think what I'm going to do instead is uh, add, I think, uh, repair bots. Now we're going to go for re uh, persistent relentless repair bots. So I'm going to add that and I'm gonna, I could either say upgrade all, improve blimp. I'm just going to replace sections. So it's going to replace them sections and they now exist. They're a passive module, so I don't have to bind any keys to it, which is good. Uh, what else do I need? Well, honestly, I don't know how fast this thing is going to be. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to move that thing there. I want to move that over to there and then same thing for this one. If you want to do it quickly, you can actually just uh, hold uh, X and then you sort of move it around with the uh, the thumb pad. So we've got a little bit of a gap there. We could move this one forward. Uh, no, I don't think I want to do that. What I want to do really is I actually want to replace this engine. It's a bit too big, so I want to say sections and I want to make it just a 4x4 and put it there. Ah, we can't. What I'm going to have to do instead is actually probably just sell the entire thing a slight problem now, I don't have an engine, which is um, suboptimal, isn't it, really? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say I'm going to copy... No, I'm not going to copy that. That's not a good idea. Let's just add a section, and it's going to be... That's a 9x9, nine nine, too big. We're going to add a section of probably... Uh, just a 4x4 four four will do quite nicely. There we are. That's a 4x4. Four four. And then what I want to do is add from our equipment, we need to add some sort of uh, engine. So I'm going to add the propeller, or not propeller, uh, this is a, an engine which has got, if it says propels. What we need to do then, you can see it's in red, is actually rebind the keys. So the left is going to be left, uh, right is going to be right. Oh, hang on. Now uh, we'll get rid of that, removed. Oh god, remove, remove. Right, remove that, remove that. Uh, down is going to be down, and then up is going to be up. There you go. So you can bind the keys quite easily. So that is now an active module, and that should work. What else do we need? Well, if I wanted to, I could probably just say copy that. Can I copy it? 
Uh, copy the entire thing and put it there. Yes, I can. So we've got a bit more maneuverability now. That's pretty cool. I'm going to, uh, I think... I think we've got enough repair. I think we've got enough everything on this one. Maybe another gun would be nice. No, actually what I want, I want to copy that one module there. Copy that and put it there. And then put another one there. Uh, them two I then want to select both. And then I want to actually sell the... I want to sell hang on, both the stuff inside it. But I don't want to sell the parts. I want to go to equipment and then go to MISC. And I want to put uh, an energy storage battery on there. And we'll place sections. The reason for that is because, because of the amount of guns I've got. If I don't have a lot of energy storage. Then I won't really be able to fire a lot. Because the energy storage will run out. Right, cool. There we go. That's done. And then we will exit that. So there we go. Our ship's here. And oh, it's quite maneuverable. Now, last time I played this, it was really, really slow. What I need to do now is exit hyperspace. And... And boom, there we go. And we can go to different areas. So I'm currently trying to head up towards... Oh, that's very hard. That's a uh, stopping missile launcher there. These are the different areas. We're trying to get to Earth, which is on the top right, as you can see. And these are different sectors where we know there is um, something we can collect. I'm trying to go for this one on the right, which is a very hard torpedo launcher unlocker. So I'm going to go for that one there, which is Sector Centurious Y Threat Level Medium. So let's do that. And now we'll do some shooting. So here we are. We can move around and we can shoot away. As you can see, it is a basically a sort of bullet hell lane shooter. And I'm going to fire away at these enemies here. That's a rock in front of us. So on the bottom left, uh, you can see, as I said, our modules. So if I take a hit, bunk, we will take a bit of damage. But our shield will absorb some of that. And obviously, we can repair as well. So what I'm trying to do is uh, get out of these... Uh, these ships here. Now, all of these ships are sort of randomly generated as a roguelike after all. And I'm just trying to blow all these to hell, which I'm doing quite well. These are different upgrades, so I'm trying to collect all of these. There we are. If it's a purple shot that they're firing, you can actually stop it with your guns, so we can actually shoot them all down. And because of the spread of my guns, that's why I've put a big spread on there. It looks like my shield's dropping, so I'm uh, having to be pretty careful here. I'm just trying to collect all of this scrap here. Uh, the controls are quite concise, but uh, or quite precise rather. But um, I, I don't know, it's a little bit floaty in some ways. But I think that's just because of the design of my ship. Looks like I've managed to disable that ship in the middle. Um, ships can collide into each other and all of these rocks you can actually uh, collide into. So I can go bang and there you go, whack into them. As you can see, I'm getting damaged down the bottom there, but I do have some repair. What I'm trying to do is make sure I get rid of all of these things here before they shoot me. There we go. These are really, really tough. I really need some better weapons. The last time I played this, this uh, was blatting it to hell, but uh, sadly, not as, not as much now. There we go. It's a big spread. I tend to go for a big spread over a big... Well, I like I like a big focus fire, and what I'm probably going to do is make a ship that's... Um, oh, these got shields. That's that's just cheating. That's paramount to cheating, that thing. Right, okay. Uh, destroy all them. Collect this up there. There's a new data. Data uh, basically shows you where different things are on the map. Um, yeah, what I want to do is make a ship that's got a big spread, but then I'm going to put a big honk and space cannon on this thing. And uh, that is the technical term, by the way. And then uh, I will be able to bind that to another key. So when I'm in here, I can then really like press the main gun and fire the cannons, and that would be pretty cool. So I, I can fire it, you know, basically it's going to use all my energy, but, uh, you know, it'll wreck anything in front of it, or something like that anyway. That sounds like a good idea to me, because currently my energy storage is not great, and I don't really have the option of not firing the guns, because they're all they're all bound to A, so it's basically an alpha strike button at the moment. But uh, we're doing okay. Uh, we are collecting some good amount of scrap. As you can see on the top right, it shows you the difficulty and the score. I don't particularly care for that one, but maybe uh, connoisseurs of this genre might be like, oh yes, scores, you need to know about scores in this sort of uh, lane bullet hell thing. Uh, let's collect all of these, and they're gone. Doing okay. I do like the design of the ships where they are just. Oh, God, good grief. They are sort of just outlines and stuff. Right, so we've now got a boss to fight, so wherever it turns up, I'm going to park right next to it and just fire constantly into it and hopefully get it uh, down really, really fast. There we go. So it's got a big honk and space cannon on the front. There we go. And now it's coming towards me. And it's going to do that little spinny round shot, which is oh, really, really cute. Because I've got a shield. By the way, this is the first time I've got a shield on my ship. Normally I run without one. Um, I'll just, let me collect that one. That's a repair boost. Not that I need it, you understand. Oh, good grief. So it shot my ship in the front there, so I've got some damage to my modules. My shield is protecting me somewhat, so I can take one of these hits if I really need to. There we go. So yeah, I took a, sh I took a sh uh, shot to the side there. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Go around. Oh, my. I managed to strategically clip every single one of them hits there. It's got a boss rage at the top there, which is basically how much health it's got and how, how pissed off it is. Oh, my shields are gone. That's not good. I might lose some modules here. Oh, we're okay. It's actually damaging itself by spinning around there. Oh, good grief it hit it in me. Right, let's click that repair. Ah! 
Come on. Damn it. <laughs> I'm good at just going into the shots. Yep, like that. <laughs> Come on. Keep firing. Bang. There we go. And it's gone. And we've also got a piece of uh, data. And now we'll let it go into hyperspace. Doom. Hyperspace. Okay. There you go. One level. Quite simple, right? Okay. So let's see what we've got. Stage complete. Uh, sections of life upgrade. Uh, sections of life upgraded to level three. That's cool. That's good to upgrade. We got three coordinates. Find new technologies, and there's our overall score, which we don't care about because it's probably garbage. So we can select from data car what do we want. We either uh, efficient energy accumulator level three or repair. I think we're going to go for the accumulator. Plasma cannon level three is pretty cool, and then we can either get an epic uh, buffed uh, uh, buffered plasma cannon level three or simple tenacious repair. But I'm going to go for the plasma cannon, and then I want to go to some of this uh, some of this and actually. What I'm probably going to do is select all modules of the same type or select all equipment of the same type which happens to be our plasma cannon and then go to probably equipment and that is our new item there, energy projectiles and then I'm going to say uh, upgrade all and can I do that? Has it actually done that? No it's not. It, uh, yes it has actually. It has actually upgraded them all. Fantastic. So what I want to do is actually I want to re I just want to change the, oh, that's the fire arc of that one. I'm gonna have to change that. So let's let's drop all of that one. We're gonna drop the selection on all of these ones. Hang on, drop the selection on these, on them ones. Right. So we want to say that one, mm, mm, that one. You fire closest to there. That one you fire closest to the center. That one's forward. These are all forward. Okay. So we've got a death gun forward. And then actually, you know what? I think we're doing all right with that one. That one fires sideways, and these fire. Mm. I think that. All these are forward. And is that about right? One off. One off center. Two off center off center. Yeah, okay, so that should do us quite nicely. We've got a lot of scrap, but what I want to do is this generate level one. I want to actually uh, select all all sections similar. There we go. And then I want to say um, equipment and I want to say upgrade to that one there. Upgrade all, which we don't have the resources for. Do we not? No, we don't. What I'll do then, I will select only a couple. So that one and that one maybe because they're in the center and then we will say how much are they oh total cost 1000 odd <gasps> okay so they're expensive um this car in the section uh, this one in the center by the way this is a computer car we can't do anything with that it has to be uh, as is uh can we upgrade? Yeah, I'm going to keep my money. I think I think that should do us for now. Let's have one more. See what goes. And then we need to go at the end. And then, and my sense of objective, a massive fleet behind me. Uh, analyzing chance of victory in case of direct concentration. 0. 0.00000. Ah, good grief. Basically, we're getting chased, right? So we can't go back over. I need to go to... That's difficulty medium. That's difficulty medium. We'll go there. We'll go medium. We're going to head off. Right, so... Oh, look at that. It's all crystalline and stuff. Right, so you can see that my weapons don't fire as much now, but they hit like a freight train, which is cool. Obviously, it's roguelike, so whatever we think's good now will be absolutely garbage in two turns' time. But, you know, that's fine. Uh, it's just, just how the game works, isn't it? Let's get rid of all that. And there we go. That's not doing too bad. That's really hitting them hard, isn't it? And as you can see, all the ships are different now. Um, and because of the energy, that they they don't really use a lot of energy. But I can just keep firing this thing. Just ram into these. Bam, bam, bam. Just ram into them. <laughs> probably not a good idea. We should probably use our guns. That's what they're there for. What's he doing at the top? <laughs> Blowing up by the look of it. Sweet. But yeah, you can see how uh, quick and fast it is, and I really like the, the shipbuilding part of it. And it is like, um, it's very, it's, uh, hang on, get rid of these. Oh, the big plasma balls of death. There we go. It is very beveragey, you know, you can think, ah, I'll have a quick, I'll have a quick couple of rounds, you know. Hmm. Ah, today's beverage is lemon tea, by the way. Right, get rid of them. And get rid of them guys there. Oh, you see the skill to dodge in between all of them shots. Fantastic. Obviously, not all of the ships have uh, have guns on them. You might see that some of them are just like unarmed completely. And that's just, you know, 
how it is. I'm collecting these repair boosts because why not? Um, we don't actually have any modules uh, added on the bottom, but uh, you know I should really sort that out. Like different, uh, uh, I was gonna say multipliers, but different like boosts and stuff. I haven't actually equipped them yet, so that's uh, my fault. There we go. Let's go down the bottom. Get that blown up. Blah blah blah. God, look at all these crystals and like ice crystals and stuff. <laughs> At least it's not just like an open playing field, at least there's like something here to, uh, you know, give you something to hide behind or them to hide behind or jump in or stop your shots or whatever. Let's like that. Good new data. God, look at that. Because I've got a full spread, I can pretty much just keep firing now, like back here. And um, actually, if I increase the spread even further, it would be uh, probably worse. Collect all the scrap. That's a nice little data core. Lovely, lovely. And. Bang. Bang, 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 yes. <laughs> because the guns hit like a truck, when we're right up close, because all the shots hit the one target and they just evaporate. Although a lot of them are getting destroyed by all of these, uh, like, ice crystal things. It's very Tron-y, isn't it, in uh, a lot of cases. That's good, though. Simple enough. Right. So here we go. That's got a lot of guns on it. I think I can outgun it. No, I can't. No, I can't. Oh, I can. I can just sort of cancel it out. You know, I'm just going to wait until it... It might outfire itself. There we go. Dodge around all of them and then just fire into it. If I just keep going up like that, I'm putting shots into it, which is good. Going between them. They have different, like, modes of fire and different modes of control, so... Hopefully I can just stay in here and keep hitting it, which I'm doing quite well. Yeah. Um, I am running out of energy though, so let's just let's just let's just go off this. There we go. I haven't really needed these repair boosts. I haven't needed to activate them, but I've got them equipped. You understand? Uh, I'm going between that shot and then go up there. Ah, shooty, this is going down. Look at sparking everywhere. Yeah, piece of piece. Got me way, mate. And job done. And entering high space. There you go. Another level. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there because you probably get. What this is all about. Let's have that. We'll have that. And I'll have that. And I'll have uh, that. Job done. You get the idea of what it's like. It's um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not normally my thing, really. This sort of uh, like um, space shoot type thing. I see. I see so many of them. You know, and I just think, ah, whatever. You know, they're not really my thing. You know, I, I know there's a lot of people like them, but uh, they're not really my thing. But because you can build your own ship and it is like a roguelike, like, so you get different parts and things like that, and you can make your own ship and have different designs. I do like that. I honestly couldn't tell you if it means anything. Like whether you know having certain designs are better than others, and there's actually a better way of doing things rather than just clamping loads of guns on or whatever. Don't have no idea. Can't speak for that at all, but want to play it, it's quite fun and fast paced and it might be something for you. Links in the description so you can check it out yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. Oh yeah, you can fire in hyperspace. Cool.